Well, hello again. So like any good argument, it always starts from like a broad place. And then, uh, you know, after the course of a few minutes, there's always this moment where it's like, aha. So what you're really saying is what you're really talking about where you get down to the nitty gritty, the thing that's really at issue. Well, the same process has to happen when you research the law, but it's not so uncomfortable or argumentative. Uh, so you always start from a broad place, uh, usually what the client gives you or your boss gives you. And then after even just a little bit of research, you can narrow it. So for us, a little bit of research yielded a statute, the driving while um, under the influence statute, and then the issue became operating. And then once it became operating, then we found another statute that defined it as operating means to cause the vehicle to move. So the way this looks like in the research process is like this, where there's four steps and uh, you start really broadly. You can see I, I wrote the issue broadly there. And then we got the statute. And then when you find a statute or any definition case law, it doesn't matter where the definition or rule comes from, you wanna slash it out and find its elements, unless the elements have already been provided. And for us, the elements are person, operate, vehicle, and alcohol. And of those, the one that another attorney would give us any guff on would be operate. So we go and research that further and find the statute that says operate means to have um, the vehicle or cause the vehicle to move basically. And so now that becomes our third issue. So we need to keep track of this so we don't lose our minds. And so over here is a nice place to write down um, our, our most narrow issue here. So we finally get down to whether the client caused the vehicle to move. So your client comes in, he's like, hey, did I violate the statute? Can I get off, whatever? And you're like, well, the question really is whether you caused the vehicle to move. Did you? And then that becomes the issue. So we go from narrow to broad. Uh, sorry, we go from broad to narrow as we, uh, as we research, okay? All right, see you back in the book.